Hi, I'm Diane Latinsky, and I'm a professor of the management programs at Paul Smith's College in the Adirondacks. Recently, I had the opportunity to take some students to the New York State uh, Business Plan Competition in the Northern Region, and I have with me Nick Frazier, who is one of the winners and going on to the state competition. We're here in our college's climbing center, uh, which is very appropriate for when you hear about his business plan. Hi, Nick, welcome. Hi, Diane, thank you. Let's talk a little bit about your business plan. Okay. First of all, tell me about yourself, why you would ever even think of a campground. Growing up uh, with a, in a family of 13, it was hard for us to get uh, on vacation. Loading 13 of us up on a plane or in a car and traveling just over a couple of hours was really hard to do. Camping worked best for us, uh, primarily because uh, for my two-year-old little sister to my eight-year-old grandparents, uh, camping was just something that we could all do and it was affordable and it was a lot of fun. A couple of years back, I worked as a park ranger at our local campground, Coral Lake Campground. I got to be outside for hours on end and it was just an amazing job meeting new people and uh, just being out there with them. Just making sure that they felt safe and were having a good time was a really good, big part of my job. Again about this aerial adventure course because I think this is something that I would love to do. So when I was in about 12th grade, I was on my senior trip, we were all getting trained on the little ropes course that you just need training on. and. Eventually we escalated up into like the higher levels and it was just really cool to see how far they could push themselves to go in order to complete the course. Uh, and another cool thing about how I want it designed is that you can go as far as you want to push yourself and at any point if you would like you can get off. This is with harnesses and um, basically pitons and uh, carabiners and you hook in and you basically go for a slide. Yep, so different levels of things from a skateboard that's 50 feet up in the air to a zip line that's going over a creek or a little swing that drops you into in that. Um, there's a lot of different elements that really pushes people out of their comfort zone and that's one thing that I really want at Frasers. I'm seeing the ultimate summer experience um, for a family. They come, the parents can actually drop their kids off at this rope course. So I see that very easily as one market. Do you have other markets in mind? Yeah, one big target market that we're really trying to hit is families just like mine. Big families looking for a really good value and uh, cheap prices um, so that they're not spending thousands of dollars just to go on a family vacation. Especially with what we've just gone through in this past year, that's probably going to be invaluable. Can you see how this could expand into, uh, let's call it the golden year market? Camping is something that everyone can do. Uh, I know some of my best memories with my grandparents is from camping. So. Um, people of all ages and abilities will be able to get out and experience the Adirondack Park. And, and that actually will bring me to my next question. Where exactly is Caroga Lake? So Caroga Lake is 45 minutes north of the Capital Region. Um, that is another one of our big target markets. With the 1.17 to a million people that live within the Capital Region, uh, that is a place that we're really going to try to advertise to. Um, but Caroga Lake is also a foothill of the Adirondack. So Families just like mine travel hours into the park when everything that the park has to offer can be experienced right down the foothills and they don't, they don't need to do all that traveling for it. If I'm understanding right, if you're going to be doing this in Caroga Lake, there isn't another campsite, a camping ground that's your competition, is there? There is one DC campground and then there is also a private park. Um, the DC campground is only 22 acres, but they have 106 sites on their wow. on their property, yes. And uh, the private campground is only 15 acres and they have 50 sites on their property. So that's one competitive advantage that I have over my competitors. Uh, I just, I'm going to be having 75 acres and if Caroga Lake campground can put 106 sites on 20 acres, then I can only imagine how many I can put on 75. Do you know if they have any additional activity areas in these other campgrounds? Uh, the only thing that they really have over me, I would say, is access to water. Mm -hmm. um, but that is where my aerial adventure park is going to come in and uh, kind of help for that lack. How far are you away from the actual lakefront? We are about two minutes away from the Kroger Lake Marina where you can rent out boats, canoes, kayaks, um, paddle boards, whatever really. Um, you can also fish there, you can swim. I am going to imagine that you've already started to take a look at, at what costs and revenues are going to be. And we'll talk about the costs in a minute, but tell me what you plan on actually charging us fees for individuals to experience Frazier's Campground. 
Okay, so the Frasers were really trying to hit the market of families like mine, big families that are looking for a value at a cheaper price. So uh, campsites are going to start at as low as $22 a night for no hookup sites, so just like 10 sites, mm -hmm. and then they'll go up from there. Um, seasonal sites, I'm looking to aim a little bit lower than the competition. Uh, summer's around uh, 17, 1800 for the season. Uh, along with this, the Adventure Park passes. For all of our overnight guests, we plan on giving 20% uh, off park passes for our overnight guests. Oh, fantastic. Um, and I can see that with this idea that you have, would you ever think of year-round? Yeah, so that's one thing that Frazier's is really going to have over my competitors is the year-round market. So with Corroga Lake just putting their snow machine trails right through my backyard, snowmobilers will be able to access over 150 miles of snow machine trails. Along with these, there's also a family-friendly ski center. Um, so with these two combined, uh, Frazier's feels as if we can really attract a year-round market or the winter market. Oh, that is fantastic because now you've got you've got a heads up over all of the DEC campgrounds, New York State DEC campgrounds that literally closed down on basically that October, that mid-October time. Yeah. What do you have in the way of amenities for people to go and get restocked, resupplies? So fortunately for Kroger Lake, a Dollar General was just put in. Uh, this Dollar General, fortunately for everyone, has all the amenities you need, like eggs, milk, food, oh, fantastic. anything you really need. I'm sure that you've started to think about what, what you're going to need as far as talking to the town around Kroger Lake, talking to the Adirondack Park Agency. Have you started doing the research in that area? Yeah, so I've talked to a few uh, architects that actually work within the Adirondack Park. I've talked to my local code enforcer along with a few people from the APA that have been steering me right in the right direction. What do you think you actually need that first year? In order to start making money and turning Frazier's into a self-sustaining business, uh, I would probably need around 150 grand. Um, this is going to be paid for with a personal investment between me uh, and also a small business loan. Sounds like a great idea. Nick, I'm wishing you the best of luck and let's get this thing done. Thank you.